Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kenneth Wong and I'm a manifestation and mindset coach. And in today's video, we're going to talk about how to manifest your specific person using the law of assumption. So for the past few years, I've been working with clients from all over the world, helping them manifest their specific person with amazing results. So if you do a quick Google search or search on YouTube, you'll find so many people talking about different techniques, different methods to manifest their specific person back. But from my experience, it really just comes down to three steps, really. Once you understand the law of assumption, there's really no need to complicate this process because manifesting a specific person is just as easy as manifesting money or manifesting jobs or manifesting anything else in the world. You can use this law to manifest anything. There are no limits, right? No one said you can use it for jobs, but you can't use it for a person. So in today's video, I'm going to walk you through how the manifestation process really works and how you can use it to manifest your specific person in three steps. So first of all, what is manifesting? And there are so many definitions of manifesting out there, but for me, I, I like to keep things really simple. So to me, manifesting just means to turn a desire in your mind into your reality. So whenever something goes from here in your mind to out here into the physical, that's manifesting. So you can see that we're all manifesting all the time, right? But the more important question is, how do you consciously manifest things that you desire? Well, that's actually super simple as well. It all comes down to this one sentence. Your beliefs create your reality. Whatever you think about dominantly, AKA your beliefs, is what will be reflected back to you in your reality. So how I like to explain it to my clients is, I want you to imagine that your reality is kind of like a mirror, okay? Your reality is simply a mirror reflecting back to you what you believe to be true. And in the case of a specific person, your relationship with that person is a reflection of what you believe to be true about that person, relationships in general, and also yourself. And this applies to everything in your life, including your career, your money, and your specific person. Every single thing in your life is a direct reflection of your beliefs. But here's the thing though, if you don't like the reflection on the mirror, it's not the mirror's fault, right? The mirror, AKA your reality, is simply doing its job of reflecting back to you what you believe to be true. So with this understanding in mind, you can see how in order to shift your reality, you have to begin by shifting your beliefs. Now this is basically the law of assumption in a nutshell. Your assumptions, which is basically what you believe to be true, shapes your entire reality, including your specific person. So I don't want this video to be too long, so let's get right into applying the law of assumption into manifesting a specific person. So the first step to manifesting your specific person is to define your ideal reality. What is the end state that you want to get to? Because guess what? Everyone has different definitions of their ideal relationship with their ideal person. So first you have to figure that out. Once you have locked in and defined your ideal reality, now we can use this to work backwards to find all of the beliefs that are necessary and required in order for you to manifest this reality. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to just close your eyes and imagine that you woke up the next day and you realized that your manifestation was already done. And then ask yourself, what do you see? What is your relationship like? How is your person showing up? What does your person think about you? What do you think about your person? Describe the relationship and how it makes you feel. Describe your specific person and how they make you feel. So take a moment to reflect on these questions and really allow yourself to dream big and allow yourself to visualize what is it that you want to call into your life. After you're done with this vision and exercise, I want you to write it down. Put your pen to paper and really solidify and anchor this vision so you have it in your hands. Once you have this completed, you can move on to step two. Now, step number two is to create those beliefs that are necessary and required in order for you to manifest this reality. Remember that your reality is a mirror reflecting back to you what you believe to be true. So if you want to manifest your ideal reality, you have to start by shifting your beliefs. So the question here is, how do you come up with these beliefs? 
Well, it's actually really simple. I want you to use your vision that you created and really step into that version of you who has already manifested your ideal relationship with your ideal person. Put yourself in their shoes and ask yourself, what does this version of me believe to be true about my person? What does this version of me believe to be true about relationships? What does this version of you, the version of you who is living and being with your specific person in your ideal relationship, what does this version of you believe to be true about yourself? And from this place, you can come up with all of the beliefs that are necessary and required in order for you to manifest that kind of reality. So examples might be, I have a loving and beautiful relationship. My partner loves and appreciates me. I feel confident. I feel attractive. Things like that. So you want to come up with at least 20 beliefs that you want to create. Step number three is to anchor in and persist in these new beliefs until they get reflected in your reality. So the easiest ways to do this is to just use affirmations. So once you've come up with your list of your 20 beliefs, I want you to repeat them daily, every morning and every night, and also during the day, whenever you have time. It's all a repetition game, okay? It takes lots of repetition in order for you to create and anchor in and solidify those beliefs into your subconscious mind. Because here's the thing about your subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind loves to stick to what is familiar. This means that when you're doing belief work, when you're trying to create new beliefs, it's going to resist your efforts. Not because these beliefs are impossible, but because these beliefs are unfamiliar. They're different. So it's going to take commitment and lots of repetition in order to truly ingrain these beliefs into your system. Repeating affirmations is literally how you embody that version of you who already has what you want. You know the saying, the universe doesn't give you what you want. The universe gives you who you're being. Well, this is literally how you become that version of you who already has it. The version of you who is already in your ideal relationship with your specific person. Now, you have to stick to this no matter what your circumstances are showing you. Because as I mentioned, it will take time to reprogram your subconscious mind and to really anchor and solidify these beliefs into your system. As you commit to this process, as you commit to doing the inner work, you're going to wake up one day and realize that, hey, you know what? My manifestation is already here. Remember how the law of assumption works. Your reality is a mirror reflecting back to you what you believe to be true. This is the law. When you successfully create those beliefs and you know that your manifestation is already done, your reality has no choice but to reflect those beliefs back to you like a mirror. If you want to learn more about this process, feel free to join my new masterclass on how to manifest your specific person. This training is totally free. So if you want to sign up, all you have to do is to just click this link down in the description box down below, uh, put in your name and your email and you get the training right away. In this masterclass, I'll teach you how to manifest your specific person and keep them for good. I'll also go over the five major mistakes that people make when manifesting their person that may be blocking them from coming in. And I also offer a really big special offer at the end of the training. So if you do decide to sign up, make sure you stay till the very end. My students have been going crazy over this training. So let me just share with you what they're saying. Thank you, Kenneth, for helping me manifest my specific person back. I tried so many techniques on YouTube, but none of them worked until I came across your methods. I'm now redoing the 28 day challenge to manifest a marriage proposal from him. Look out for a wedding invitation soon. And here's another one. I'm so happy I found you, Kenneth. Because of you, me and my man are back together in a happy relationship. We used to fight so much as a couple, but then it's like he became a completely new person all of a sudden. Manifestation really is so magical. I'm so pleased with this new version of him. Thank you. So if you want to join hundreds of others who have successfully manifested their specific person back, then go ahead and sign up for this masterclass. And I want you to know that your specific person is so available to you. No matter what happened in the past, no matter what is happening right now, no matter how bad your current circumstances are, you can still manifest them back. 
So that's it for this video. So give this practice a try and comment down below your results. I would love to hear from you. And as always, thanks so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.